Listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! Ah! What in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah! of the job. Ah! Just, just leave me. Ah! Ah! Uh, uh, uh. The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! I need to find shelter. Is anybody there? What is this place? The place seems <clears throat> abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Much darker game. Fucked it. Like the wrong turn. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pick in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. Fucking through me. It's impossible. No. I've played like a tiny bit of this game like two years ago. It's actually a fucking good game. I can almost feel the sun's rays like a physical weight pressing against the wood. I stole my watch. A lot of like storytelling and stuff in this type of game. Twelve dreams for the Red Queen that sleeps on a crown of stone that she might linger longer. Her eyes as white as blue. Who goes there? A prayer for the sun to find a warrior star. A child born from the darkness must be accepted by his. Who's there? Are you referring to me? So much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. Shilling at the currents. This 
the stud. Well, you're welcome. Johnny, this one's lost. But I did. We need to leave. And now, no. there's time. Okay, so save him. I think I was a doctor. Well, they the turned me. Coming. The orders are to evacuate the hospital. <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. Okay, at least I got some shots now. Here's trouble. Yeah, I wonder how I used it. I need to sleep for the sun to go down. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. Why would I shoot? How am I supposed to avenge my sister if I shoot? Do I have to press it? Press it. Not schmuck to be a vampire. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Oh, you get to live forever. You faster, you stronger, you quicker. Okay. Hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points and level up and improve your vampiric skills. Yeah. Begin by selecting the available skill or top tier. This one. Oh, no. What am I was saying? What's up there? What's a baggy? What is that? Where is my oh so it's XP, that's how it works. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Thousand and claws men. But I think I need a stamina. Oh, 
first game I've seen that you use actual experience kill like that in like the actually getting a skill point if I'm not mad then it must belong to the one who made me what I am I must find him to understand an update reached North Bank L1. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage. What I have become. Where is it? It's closed. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Here! The fuck did I do that? My head's spinning. Yo, bro, I fought like that fucking. Offhand can be used by pressing the have a text effects. I'm still in Southwark. I must oh, reach shit. the West End. Press to strike enemy in town. Die, vermin! Now you have blood press to unleash a vampire skill. Oh, Lucka. Oh! Every sinew, every fiber of my being is a fire. Learning the limits of my body. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. I have this thirst for blood. I cannot enter. Tap a key. It's locked. Dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. I cannot enter. Hello. London, mate. It's locked, all right. I have so many questions unanswered. Another corpse. Have the very street. 
streets of London become a mausoleum. The man has been drained of all blood. <laughs> I can still smell the scent of it. The first that gets you to wake now. Ah, but fun at you the same is. I follow. Fuck you, Lala. Trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Toggle your vampiric sense. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Something dire must have come about. Where has everyone gone? You found a new hardware where you can spin XP crafting. Okay, no luck, huh? What is that? Common and open. Uh, refill shop workbench. See what I can create. Yeah. Even for offhand, two hand. Okay, no, no. Bed. Do sleep. Do I have full damage? Shouldn't. I'm a vampire. Unknown. At last, a little life. That quantity unknown. Speak to the local. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been. It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Things can only get worse. Right. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient bogey answer for every crime that happened for decades. Local bogey you murdered man. someone. Blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I'll leave you to your bottle then. Oh God, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. 
<laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Trolls roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require. Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Just give me a second, my stomach's are rumbling here. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <clears throat> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. Yeah. Anyone. Oh. oh, well, 
that's something I can do for you. And who might you be? I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. And what exactly is this Brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I... I don't know yet. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. I think I'm losing my mind. Someone must know something. I should just run as far away I from this place as I can. Me. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Well, if you must. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. 
first the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning, drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. I think drink no longer stirs me. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. 
Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. <laughs> to me about the visit from your old friend William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer and that's the truth. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong, now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming for them. You best talk to Tom. Are they stupid or I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. What's this? Some sort of note. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge.
the frost. It's fair enough, Tom. But why do they hide where it's so damn cold? Definitely gonna need some blood soon. Stay away, sir. I like their screams when you burn them alive. Oi, you listening? Look at it. This is fire. Watch yourselves. This one of them. <laughs>
fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Bloodshed. Oh my God. I can't stand it anymore. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. they stray without me. <laughs> Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. 
We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You use me to locate that... Skull, you must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Oh, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word, again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. 
I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful... I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming.